Welcome to HTML5 Tutorials Chapter 9 HTML5 Canvas Part 2 Brought to you by Anpro Technologies My name is Arish In this session we are going to learn about the canvas coordinates and how to draw a circle on the canvas and how to draw a circle on the canvas so first let us understand the canvas coordinates the HTML canvas it is a two-dimensional grid the upper left corner of the canvas as the coordinate 0 comma 0 so in the last session we learned like how to draw a rectangle with the help of the method fill rect and here it takes four parameters so what does this parameter means this means uh, these two parameters the first two parameters tells like start the rectangle at the upper left corner 0 comma 0 okay and draw a rectangle of 150 cross 75 pixels rectangle in the sense the width should be 150 pixel and the height should be 75 pixel and this 0 comma 0 represents like the rectangle should be drawn from the upper left corner with this axis okay your 0 comma 0 the first parameter represents the x-axis and the second parameter represents the y-axis so this is what we learned in the last session like how to draw a rectangle and this is what the method we made use of it to draw a rectangle and in this session we are going to learn like how to draw a straight line on the canvas using JavaScript so to draw okay before that let me uh, tell you like how to identify or how to get the coordinates uh, of a rectangle or any shape with the help of JavaScript it's very simple so let me jump into Visual Studio Code and let me show you a demo of it here you can observe very clearly okay we have a canvas so let me remove this as of now okay you can observe very clearly like we have a canvas here okay with the ID my canvas and height 200 pixel and width is 200 pixel and also we have a style to the canvas defined one pixel solid black so now let me push this page to the browser so what I'll do is let me go back we'll go to the folder where I saved this HTML page and it is saved in the okay and here comes when I double click on this HTML file it's going to open in the Chrome browser and here it renders okay this is what the canvas is so within this canvas the canvas is something like a container so within the container this canvas I have to draw uh, or I have to get the X and Y axis okay suppose uh, I'm moving my mouse on the mouse over okay it has to get me the current X and Y coordinates okay so how to do that it's very simple so what I'll do is first let me call uh, on mouse over okay that is on mouse over event attribute so to that let me attach a function so the function so the function name is get data so if I need to fed the X and Y axis okay on the mouse over of the canvas I need to make use of this event object so let me push the result inside the div element so let me assign an ID to the div so the ID is my div so I need to push the result inside this div so let me write a script so my script what it has to do is it has to define a function so the function name is get data and it takes a event object this event object will be having the details of what type of event it is and it also going to give us the X and Y coordinates so right now let me take a sample okay uh, and let me tell like x axis okay it's called to event dot client x it's going to return us the x axis and let me add a break line so y axis This is event dot client y. So let me end up here. So what I'm doing right now, I'm, I'm defining a function called get data event, and I'm att att attaching this function to the attribute on mouse over. So when I mouse over, it's going to return me the x and y axis, the coordinates. So after that what I need to push do is I need to push this result inside the due element so let me identify the due element by ID document dot 
bracket element by id so the id of the div is my div so let me pass that and let me set its inner html and its value to be the sample which will be having the x and y coordinates so now let me go back and let me refresh now when I mouse over you can observe very clearly we're getting the x and y coordinates so currently my mouse is on okay we refresh okay currently my mouse is on x axis at 196 position okay it's on 14 and y axis is 96 position it's a coordinate so whatever it is returning right now it's just a coordinate okay this is how we can fetch the coordinate okay with the help of this event object again event object we have a property called client x and client y which returns okay which returns the x and y coordinates so this is a very simple example okay and right now we saw like how to get the coordinates and apart from that let us jump into the actual session so our objective is to draw a straight line on the canvas using javascript so to draw a straight line on the canvas we need to make use of this following methods so the first method is move to so it takes two parameters x and y values so it defines the starting point of the line okay it tells like from which axis which and which axis like x and y coordinate the line has to start so if it has to start from this corner upper left corner I have to specify move to 0 comma 0 this is the starting point and it defines the starting point of the line this is first method and line 2 it defines the ending point of the line so I have to tell like what is tell how much long the my line has to extend so I have to pass the x and y coordinates defining the ending point of the line so once we make use of all these methods and finally we are to make use of a method called stroke to actually draw the line you must use one of the ink methods line uh, like stroke okay this actually brings the straight line within this rectangle so and here is the code for that so let me start writing okay the code uh, to draw a straight line it's very simple so let me go back to my studio and let me erase these things and let me remove this also and currently my do id is okay canvas this is the thing now let me write the script so let me take a variable called demo and let me fetch the document dot get element by id so what is the what is the canvas id i'm having it's my canvas so let me paste it here and after that what i need to do is once i identify that element okay then i need to create a drawing object get context so how do i do it Okay, let me come here so I'll tell ctx is equal to demo dot get context so I have to pass it as 2d so this ends okay and observe here what we are doing is we are creating a drawing object get context so then we have to make use of these two methods move to we have to tell like from which point the line has to start and where it has to end so let me make use of that also let me show you it's very simple ctx dot move to so it has to start from 0 comma 0 position that upper left corner and ctx okay line 2 it has to so since the height is 200 it has to start from the x-axis 200 pixel and it has to end we need, we need to pass the value the height and width so two hundred pixel and finally we need to make use of a method called stroke method just to print that circle so let me go back and let me call that stroke method let me do control s let me go back and let me refresh here you can observe we have a line drawn straight line drawn which is starting from upper left corner why because I'm telling like this line to start from zero axis x axis should be zero and y axis should be zero so if x axis should be zero and y axis should be zero it will start from here and we are telling like it has to end okay the x axis 200 pixel and y axis 200 pixel so it is coming here to this point because the height and width are same right now so what I'll do is right now let me check the width 200 pixel and here also let me change to 100 let me do control s let me go back and let me uh, let me give the value like 100 and 200 you can observe here okay the width is 100 pixel and height is 200 pixel so what we need to do is we need to pass these values okay 
height 100 and 200 okay uh, to draw a line this is the ending point and this is the starting point okay and the sense this line has to extend to 100 pixel okay from the x-axis and 200 pixel from the y-axis got it and finally if I don't call this method what's gonna happen we we won't get a line you can observe very clearly so this is uh, like something like a ink method okay which brings a circ which brings a straight line on the web page in the sense in the canvas okay so let me give it as tight as 200 pixel and you are also 200 pixels such that it looks good so right now we are drawing a straight line in the canvas element so what we did we made use of two important methods they are move to we have to tell like from where it has to start so let me change the values like uh, it has to start x axis from 10 pixel and y axis 10 pixel so let me go back and let me refresh okay here you can observe here from the x axis 10 pixel is starting and from the y axis 10 pixel is starting so here is the starting point Right. so now what I'll do is again let me change this to 150 the height okay from here it has to extend so let me go back and let me refresh you can observe okay it's at 150 pixel from here from y-axis from x-axis it is okay 200 pixel okay, I hope you understood like how to draw a straight line on the canvas element okay with the help of these two methods and finally we have to call this stroke otherwise we will not get the straight line drawn okay now let us learn like how to this is the code snippet for the straight line and now let us learn like how to draw a circle on the canvas using JavaScript to draw a circle on the canvas use the following methods one is begin path okay which initializes okay the path for a circle to be drawn and we have to call this arc method so you can observe very clearly X Y R start angle and end angle so uh, this arc method what it does is it creates an arc or a curve so to create a circle with the arc method what we need to do is we need to set the starting angle to 0 and the end angle to 2 pi r that is uh, 2 cross math dot pi okay it's going to return the pi value okay and we have to set the x and y parameters to define the x and y coordinates to the center of the circle and your r represents the radius of the circle so here I have a this is what we are going to get the output and here is the code snippet so let me start coding for that it's very simple so let me remove all these things so I'm I already created a drawing object let's get context let me call okay begin path so this is the first step like it's going to begin the path you can observe very clearly okay begin path then we have to take arc okay uh, so begin path then we have to call the arc method so this arc method is going to take four parameters with x and y axis 0 comma 0 and the radius let me check out the radius what I've taken here so the radius the radius I've taken it as 40 and the starting angle should be specified the radius of the circle is 50 I'm going to take 50 and the starting angle should be 0 and uh, the last parameter I have to give the value as 2 math dot pi okay I would end up with the semicolon and let me give something like 75 and let me give it as 90 so from the x-axis it should be 90 and from the y-axis it should be 75 pixel so now let me call the last method that is stroke this is going to draw a circle on the uh, web page go back and let me refresh okay right now we are not getting any output why because you can observe very clearly so we are telling like document dot get element by ID this one okay document demo dot get context okay and let me give it as 40 let me check out is there any error okay let me inspect and let me check out what is the error we are getting out okay so we have a function see it's okay the problem is we have okay the method name is stroke not stroke so let me go back and let me refresh here you can observe we are getting a circle of radius of radius 40 pixel so let me increase the size to 50 pixel so we will get a big circle okay now what I'm telling here is the my first parameter start from 90 that is x-axis so let me use 30 let me check out where the circle is going to come you can observe here okay 
it went inside okay 30 pixel it inside so let me give uh, like 50 it comes out okay the 50 is the starting point okay and now let me pass I've uh, given the 75 so let me tell like 50 again from the x-axis and y-axis it has to start from you can observe very clearly okay your the point what it is touching from here to here is 50 pixel and from here to here is 50 pixel so this is what okay the first two parameters is going to take it and 40 represents the radius and this represents the starting angle and okay and uh, ending angle is 2 star math dot pi and finally we have to call this method compulsorily to draw a circle on the web page within the contain within the canvas element so this is how you will draw a circle on the canvas element so I hope you understood like how to draw a straight line on the canvas using JavaScript and also we learned like how to draw a circle on the canvas using JavaScript and also we learned like how to find the coordinates okay with the help of event object there we have two properties client X and client Y which returns you the coordinates so this is what about the canvas element is so finally Thank you for listening. Have a great day. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Like Pro Training. You can also like our Facebook page visiting this URL. You can also follow us on Twitter. For further reference, refer our website. We are on LinkedIn too. Last but not the least, please don't forget to give the feedback. Thank you. Have a great day.